New York City voters will soon elect a new mayor. In fact, early voting begins October 23rd. Guardian Angels founder Curtis Sliwa is the Republican candidate who's facing off against Democratic challenger Eric Adams. They've been battling for months over issues like vaccine mandates, tax reform, and of course, crime. The two candidates will debate next week and it is sure to get heated. Joining me now is the Republican candidate, Curtis Sliwa. Thank you so much for being with us, sir. Oh, let me add an addendum. I'm also running on the independent party line, so people have choices. Republican line, Sliwa, or independent party line, because as you know, there are some Democrats, some independents who would never vote for a Republican, so they have an option to vote for me as an independent candidate. You know, we're going to start with Rikers Island, some of the developments there, but you bring up this issue of Democrats, independents, Republicans. In New York City, Democrats outnumber Republicans six to seven to one. Would you seek the endorsement of former President Donald Trump? I know you consider yourself an anti-Trumper, but I mean, you did bring it up. There's this lane that you need to run down if you if you're, have any chance in this thing. Would you seek his endorsement? No, remember in the primary, uh, the Trumper candidate was Fernando Mateo. He campaigned on that. He spent $2 million money that I didn't have on advertisements that said, Curtis Lee is not a Republican and he's a never Trumper. And I still won the Republican primary convincingly 70% to 30%. And most importantly, I can go into neighborhoods where the only Republican they've ever seen is Abraham Lincoln on a $5 bill and be received because people have seen me there before. So, of course not. I, I don't want the endorsement of Donald Trump. Uh, he has not gotten involved in uh, the local uh, competition of who will be the next mayor. Uh, in a way, Joe Biden did by inviting Eric Adams to Washington for that roundtable discussion on crime where maybe it should have been Cuomo or Dermot Shea, the police commissioner, or even de Blasio. And, and even then, when and Eric let's get, Adams let's get into some of those issues with crime, and we'll start with Rikers Island where the governor and the mayor just announced this evening that nearly all women and trans individuals will be temporarily transferred out of the troubled jail temporarily. What's your response to that? Oh, come on. Come on. They've never been on Rikers Island. I actually was locked up on Rikers Island in the 80s. I was arrested 76 times, most of them when Ed Koch was mayor, and he viewed us as the Hells Angels, not the Guardian Angels. So they transfer women inmates, and they transfer transgenders. And they think that's the problem. The problem is males who are inmates, gang members who are all being housed in the same units of the same gang, which is insane, and emotionally disturbed, single, able-bodied men who need to be in a mental health care facility, of which the state has. Why isn't Hochul housing them in Kirby Psychiatric on Randall's Island or Creedmoor, the state facility right in northern Queens? That's where the problem is. They have no concept of the problems in Rikers Island. They need to talk to correctional officers who have to work three shifts and women, female correctional officers who get openly and, sexually and harassed. And we know that they've had some issues assaulted. with the guards in terms of people being able to actually be there in the facilities, showing up at the facilities, turning their shifts. Should that facility long term be closed down? Absolutely not. You have eight units, and plus you have the barge in Hunts Point. The barge is functional. You could take four of those units and rehab them slowly, get them up to spec. You'll have more than enough space. But if you take the emotionally disturbed inmates off of the island and put them into mental health care facilities, state psychiatric uh, facilities that the state runs, then it will normalize, but you still need 2,000 correctional and officers. Cur Curtis, obviously crime has been a, a major topic throughout the course of this campaign. It's dominating all the headlines. Murdering, murders and shootings are down, but robbery and felony assaults are up. A lot to deal with there. We only have about a minute left. You're in office on day one. What would you do specifically that you think could make a difference right away in New York? We need to lift the morale of the police. I'd be visiting every precinct, shaking the hands of the men and women who have been told to be reactive, not proactive. What did my opponent, Eric Adams, say he would do on day one, January 2nd? He'd go down to Florida as if he won, you know, the Super Bowl and he was going to Disney World. What? To convince New Yorkers who moved down there to move back? They're not coming back. We need to reinvigorate. We need to give a morale boost to the cops who got to go back and provide safe streets, safe subways, safe parks, and safe schools. Curtis Lewa, Republican candidate for the mayor of the city of New York, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime. All right. Well, coming up.